Trump rips Wisconsin Supreme Court review of GOP stranglehold on voting districts as cheating. The former president urged Republicans to put a stop to review in state that has been called the poster child of gerrymandering. Following a Wisconsin Supreme Court review of the voting districts in the state this week, former President Donald Trump accused Democrats of cheating and called on Republicans to put a stop to it. Tremendous cheating going on in a state that I love, Wisconsin, Trump wrote in a Truth Social post. Republicans must do something to stop it. Earlier this week, the Wisconsin Supreme Court heard oral arguments in a constitutional battle over district map boundaries with Republicans battling to hold on to their virtual stranglehold control in a state that has been called the poster child of gerrymandering. After a winning in 2011, Republicans drew new districts for the state legislature so Republicans stacked and distorted in their favor that it made it almost impossible for many of them to lose future elections. During arguments, Republicans accused Democrats of violating the state constitution with their proposed maps which they accused Democrats of waiting to present until reaching a four-to-three court majority. Everybody knows that the reason we're here is because there was a change in the membership of the court, conservative Justice Rebecca Bradley said at the beginning of the proceeding. Republicans began plotting immediately to impeach newly elected Justice Janet Protasiewicz, who flipped the court majority. In his Truth Social post, Trump included a recent Wall Street Journal editorial accusing the court's new liberal majority of attempting a judicial coup by issuing what's expected to be an order to redraw the maps. The court declined to hear claims that the maps are a partisan gerrymander, agreeing instead to consider the Trojan horse of whether geographically splintered political districts justify throwing out the maps altogether. Wink, wink, reads the editorial. In the oral arguments on Tuesday, one justice asked for both sides to recommend experts who could help the court draw new maps if the existing ones are going to be thrown out, according to the New York Times. Should the Democrat-proposed maps become a reality, it could case a radical shift in power in the state by opening up several new seats for Democrats, especially as Wisconsin remains a battleground for the upcoming 2024 election. The state Supreme Court is not expected to immediately rule on the case. Please subscribe, like and hit the notification button for more videos.